Well, good day, everybody. This is Chris back again with The Ancient Scholar, and I'm going to continue with an additional video talking about the new National Registry examination for advanced level providers, mainly AEMT and paramedics. I'm going to focus primarily on paramedics in these series of videos, however. All right. So we finally, we've built up some, some tuition about what is happening. We've looked at the big picture. We talked a little bit about the this 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 overriding concept of clinical judgment and kind of what it is as far as how national registry looks at it the recognizing cues analyzing them defining hypotheses generating solutions taking action and evaluating said actions and being able to do that within the context of in route to a call on scene and then following scene, i.e. during transport or evacuation. And all of that is contained under this umbrella term we call clinical judgment. So in essence, what's happening is the National Registry is phasing out the psychomotor skills testing and uh, trying or attempting to integrate something that is cogn cognitively analogous to skills testing in some sense, um, testing the ability of the paramedic candidate to engage in high-level thinking and decision-making um, and showing that they have at least some cognitive mastery of skills, how to do them, how to integrate them into the overall picture. Uh, and that is what this concept of clinical judgment is. And so uh, we're, we're going to be looking at approximately a third to a little over a third of this new exam will be testing clinical judgment. Um, the actual amount uh, is going to vary a little bit, uh, but roughly speaking, um, a little over a third of the items that you're going to encounter are items that are these new items that are going to be focused on testing your clinical judgment capabilities. So what does that mean? That means that you are going to encounter new item types. Uh, so the prior to this, the major item type that you would encounter on an exam, on a national registry exam was a multiple choice item. So you have a question, it asks something, and then you have A, B, C, and D, right? You have four choices, and one of those choices is the correct or the most correct choice. And it's fairly straightforward. That is what it is, so to speak. Now, those questions are not going away, all right? So you're still going to have the standard multiple choice questions, uh, but again, a third or more of the items that or questions that you will encounter will be these uh, newer, we call technology enhanced items that uh, have been developed to test your clinical judgment. And so these are items that are a little more complex, require uh, more complex thinking, interfacing, and so on. And so what I want to do is I want to talk to you all about some of the new item types. And then in the next video, I'm actually going to take you through um, a, um, a simulated uh, portion of a National Registry exam. Uh, it's, uh, it's a practice test, and we can kind of go through it together, and I can kind of describe these new item types. Uh, so first and foremost, the multiple choice items are not going away. Second, um, there are what are now called multiple response items. And what a multiple response item is, is you will have to select two or three correct responses. So instead of just one, you will have to select two or three out of a list of five or six options, All right? So it'll ask you select two or select three correct options or three best options, All right? So again, a little higher order uh, cognition is going into this. Um, the next technology enhanced item that you're going to run into is something called build list. And this is where you're going to have several options and you're going to have to click on them and you're going to have to order them into a list, right? So it'll say order from, from most important to least important. 
um, the interventions that you do. Okay, so at the top of the list, so you drag it up to the top, that's most important down to least important, say. Um, that is what's called build list. The next technology enhanced item that you're gonna run into is something called drag and drop. And this is where you're gonna have categories, right? So you're gonna have uh, category A, category B. Maybe this is uh, of flowers and trees. So which of the following is a flower? Which of the following is a tree? And then you're gonna have um, a bunch of items and you're gonna have um, Juniper and you'll click on that and you'll have to drag that and, and drop it under uh, the tree option. And then you'll have Lily and you'll have to click that and drag it and drop it under the flower option, right? That's just an example, right? So that is what's known as drag and drop, all right? You're also gonna have something called an options box. Um, this is where you're gonna have to classify, categorize, or identify several options presented in a table based on certain underlying criteria that'll be specified in the test uh, question. In addition to these new items, um, there is a emphasis on graphical and scenario-based content. All right, so, um, and somewhere around 30 to 40% of uh, the items that you're going to encounter in certain content areas, such as cardiology, uh, will be questions that are going to have graphical content. All right. Um, what are some examples of graphical content? Well, you and we do run into this. A, we have run into this in a little bit, such as ECG printouts. Um, but you're gonna expect a lot more of this kind of content even, in, even when you encounter the more standard multiple choice questions. So these are gonna include charts, uh, ECG rhythm strips and 12 leads, images, pictures, and graphics of, of a variety of different types, okay? So uh, it's gonna be a lot more pictures, graphics, images that you are gonna be interfacing with. Um, so you want to anticipate that. And then in addition to that, many of the item types are going to be scenario based, right? Where you're going to have several questions and it may include a variety. It may include building a list, drag and drop, multiple response, and maybe a couple of multiple choice questions, all covering a single patient encounter scenario and you can expect that to, uh, to essentially start in route. And you have several items, a few items that'll cover the in route. And then at patient contact on scene. And then post scene for a um, kind of a prolonged scenario from dispatch to transfer of care. And again, that's that whole clinical judgment that they're trying to do or trying to test you on. Um, and so many of these questions are going to be grouped together. They're going to be scenario based. Um, so you can expect to answer multiple questions based on information contained within a scenario. And that will build upon itself as you move through the scenario. So the interface on the exam on the computer is going to look a little different. Because um, it used to be when you, or currently, when you take the National Registry, as soon as you answer an item, that item goes away and you move on to the next item. And the, and the next item is not, is it, the, the whatever it's testing, the content is not related to the prior item, right? It's you've answered it, you've moved on, it goes away. But now, because there are gonna be so many scenario-based items, you're going to have some different information boxes that will give you information about the scenario that you're navigating through and the information that's coming from it. And so I'll kind of show you what that what what that's going to to look like and how you can can use that as you work through these more complex questions. All right, everyone. I think that's it uh just talking about the item types and uh, some of the scenario-based and graphical-based changes that are uh, coming. Again, this is gonna start on uh, July 1st, 2024. So 
uh, really just a little over a month away if you are watching this video on the day that it gets released. All right, everyone, hopefully you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Take care.